how they do today. Kind of. Got some shit to do around the house. I'm meeting up with a new friend for coffee. And then we're going over to a friend's house for dinner tonight. Um, Cameron's going shooting with his buddies. So, yeah. Let's make myself some breakfast because I'm starving. Prego Brubs. So I just finished getting ready as you can see um, and I was just taking some belly shots of Mr. Tara. <laughs> I almost just said his first name. Um, but yeah, I was just getting some shots because, you know, the beginning of my pregnancy I didn't really get to take a lot of photos because I didn't have a belly and I kind of regret it because I mean now I'm eight months pregnant and I got a belly now. So yeah, I was just taking some photos so now I'm going to... It's already 11.22 and I'm supposed to meet that girl at 12. So I probably should get going. Um, I am going to throw on some clothes and head on over there. So and it's about 20 minutes away. So I got some time. But yeah, I'm going to get dressed and then head on over there. And so I'll see you guys in the car. Because, you know, I love to talk in the car. So I'll see you then. And I was actually just talking to my mom like the whole way here. And we were just like talking about the baby and she's like so excited and she's gonna be such a good grandma. I mean, I only hope to be half the woman she is because she was a great mom. And for a while there, it was just me and her growing up. So she's just so strong and everything. So and she did absolutely everything she could to be a good mom and she was. She's actually coming to Colorado once I have the baby to help out and um you know because i won't be able to do crap by myself i'm gonna be so lost i i know how to take care of a baby but i mean i've never like taken care of like a newborn and then it's like he's a boy so it's like he has a like, boy parts <laughs> i just like keep thinking about that i'm like i don't know how i feel about this i'm nervous i'm so nervous but she'll be here to help me out I'm currently on my way to Panera to meet with this girl who's been reaching out to me on Instagram about getting together. Um, I guess like she originally found me through an Instagram page, like an Air Force Instagram page or whatever, and we were both in Colorado Springs, and yeah, so she asked me to like get together and I was like you know what like sure like let me step out of my comfort zone because normally I wouldn't do something like this but yeah I decided why not um it's nice to like meet new people and last night I actually met Cameron's co-worker who just got here four months ago and his wife and they were actually so nice and funny I actually really liked them and it's hard for me to click with people because I'm very sarcastic and I have a very like weird sense of humor so it's like hard to find people that like you can click with and like laugh with and stuff and these people were actually like really relatable and they're about the same age as me and Cameron 23 and 25 so it's nice because a lot of like people in the military right now that we meet they're all like 18 19 20 21 and it's like hard to like connect with them 
Um, but this girl I'm actually meeting with is 21 um, and her husband as well. So they're a little younger, which it's fine. Like there's nothing wrong with being 21. I mean, I'm just 23, I'm pregnant. I'm just in a little different part of my life than most people are. So yeah, but it's also nice because with Air Force wives and with military wives period, it's really easy to connect with them sometimes because of the fact that they understand what you're going through which is a lot of my friends who are back home, they just don't understand what it's like to be married, to own a home, to, you know, grow up so quickly. Um, I feel like a lot of people back home are still, you know, partying every single day and drinking and not going anywhere with their lives. Yeah, I am pulling into Panera now, so I probably won't vlog just because I don't want to make it weird. And I don't know if she knows I vlog and I make videos, so. Yeah, I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Jeez. So it's been a while since I last updated you guys, but I... So loud. Yeah, so we met, we were supposed to get coffee, but that's what like we originally planned, but we both ended up getting lunch. <laughs> Just so happens she actually watches some of my YouTube videos. And I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. It was really nice, she was actually really nice. I could see myself hanging out with her again. Um, she's a little younger than me, but, like, I feel like we get along. Um, at least I think so. Who knows if she actually likes me. Um, but, yeah, I definitely would hang out with her again. So, who knows? Maybe if she likes me back, maybe eventually one day you'll see her in the vlog. Probably. Maybe. Who knows? But, yeah, I really liked her. She was super nice. Um... She was actually a lot more mature than I thought she would be because um, she is 21. If you're watching this video, hey, hit me up. <laughs> Let's hang out again. <laughs> but yeah, um, I also just left King Supers because they were having a sale. So I grabbed a few things. Of course, you know, um, I saved. My total was a hundred and something dollars. I forget. But I end up paying $69 I saved $50 in this trip so literally this trip the only reason why it did cost me a little bit more money than I would have liked it to is because I ended up getting like American cheese and fruit which of course you need fruit um, I got lots of fruit like I got strawberries mixed fruit um, blueberries bananas I got a pineapple so I could take my 35 week bump shot with it um, and yeah, I got like bread, which obviously wasn't on sale. Um, I got a bunch of snacks and cookies because you know, baby loves the cookies right now. Um, and they were on sale. Got a bunch of K cups because they were only $2.99. $2.99 a box for K cups for 12. That's dumb cheap. If you have a Keurig, you know how expensive it is to keep buying K cups. Um, but in reality, a K-Cup is cheaper than if you go to Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. So, I grabbed five boxes. For a while there, I actually stopped drinking coffee altogether. But to be honest, with the whole insomnia, not sleeping, shit, I have been starting to drink coffee again because I'm dying. Like, I literally can't survive. Um, do I drink it every day? No. But I have been drinking it almost every day. So, whatever. Um... They said it was fine for me to drink coffee anyways. We're gonna go home now. Um, also, another thing, I, I ended up getting a cake because I'm going to that girl's house tonight and honestly, I just did not feel like baking anything. So I just bought like a cake um, from the market. And yeah, I bought ice cream too because Lord knows I am craving sweets all the time. Um, I also ended up getting like fruit snacks because fruit snacks were on sale for 99 cents for Welch's fruit snacks. And Welch's fruit snacks are actually really expensive, so I was surprised they're 99 cents, so I literally bought five. <laughs> it's damn nice out. And this girl next to me is like staring at me because I'm vlogging. Like, hey, hey.
zoom in. That's so weird. Oh, poochies! Oh, babies! <sighs> Walking up the stairs is so difficult. <sighs> Hi! Say hello! Let's go outside. Hi. No, oh, easy. They're gonna jump on me. Come on, let's go outside. Go she she's. <laughs> 